Hi everyone, welcome back to Cassandra's Plants. Um, today is the unboxing of box six or November's Barry's Cactus Club. Now this one went a little, got a little bit lost in the post, so it's been in the box a little bit longer than um, I would have liked it to be. So fingers crossed everything is okay, we've got it now, so that's the main thing. So let's open it up. See, I haven't even undone the sticker on this one and it is a bit tight. extra strong stickers this month there we go right finally here we go so as always i've no idea what's in this one don't know i've tried to avoid all of the uh, uh previews and sneak peeks on instagram because i knew it was going to be late so what have we got oh a blue candle Mertillo cactus geometrisms can never say that. Um, oh, and an air plant. I hope that means there's an actual air plant in there because that would be pretty awesome. Right, let's have a look. Awesome packing as always. <laughs> wow, there is. Here we go. So let's, let's get a bit of stuff on there. Let's move that way. So let's see if it shows us what this is called. A Tillandasia Ionantha. Tillandasia ionantha um, and a little bit of information so I have no idea how to look after air plants I've seen them and I've seen so many people rave about them all oh, that leaves a little bit floppy so I might just take that one off but that's okay it's been in um, the box for well over a week so I'm not surprised it's a little bit crispy but I've seen um, loads of people have these especially the xenographia i think that's how it's pronounced which are the big the big um they've got really thick leaves and they look a bit like the top of a mop um but they're really cool but i don't have any air plants so this is a really nice little um addition to my collection um i don't know how to water them or to look after them so if there's any people that are air plant experts by all means give me some um tips and advice in the comments and let me know but i will let you know how i get on with this one now on to the main part of barry's cactus club so we've got a blue candle cactus these are really cool and this will go really well next to the blue torch that we got um just because they're similar colors and i do like that you know bluey azure sort of color in plants i think it's quite unusual and quite original so let's open it and have a look at what the um the pot looks like fingers crossed i won't get pricked like i normally do go. Oh, fingers crossed this plant is okay It looks okay. I was worried it was going to start showing the signs of stretching, but being in the dark and in this black tissue paper, it was literally in the real dark. But it doesn't look too bad so far. It's, um, oh, lost a bit of mud. Oh, it's a bit stuck to the paper. Hang on. There we go. Right, so it could do a little bit of a top up on the soil. Because it's um yeah it's really really dry um and the top bit's fallen out but it's a nice little cactus and the pot this is like textured um obviously it's terracotta you can hear that um and it's like i don't know if that's been splattered with paint or whether that's paint or just the style of the terracotta i don't know but it's quite sweet um so there's the cactus nice little blue candle I mean the light isn't great here um, and you can't really see the blue colour and it isn't maybe it's because it's been in the package for a while and it needs a bit of light for the blueness to come out because um, it is looking quite green but it will be fine I'll put it on a nice bright windowsill and it will pick up so that's November's so we've got little cactus and an air plant so there we go 
Um, as this is month six, I'm also going to be doing a um, a growth update on all of the other ones that I've got. Um, so be sure to go and check out that video as well. And um, as always, if you like my videos and the content, give us a like and a subscribe and uh, say hi in the comments. And I'll see you all again next time.